Hey guys, I wanted to get another video out today um, just on something that I see a lot of questions on and that is front run bots. I'm going to try and attempt to explain how front run bots work, what to look out for, and kind of how to beat them. Uh, you know, I don't have a ton of experience in battling front run bots. I know how to do it, uh, but I don't often try. Um, but it's important that you understand what to look out for and then you don't get so excited on big purchases because sometimes it is just a front run bot and they're likely going to sell the same amount. It's important to know that they don't make a lot of money per transaction and they have a lot of risk. Um, so it's very easy to get them off the board, uh, but I don't think that they will ever stop. So I guess the next best thing is just making sure that you have the understanding of what they are and potentially have the means to combat them. Right. So a front run bot pretty much is something uh, is a bot that is looking for transactions on the blockchain and it looks for purchases with high slippage. Uh, and whenever it, whenever it finds a transaction that's coming through, it'll make a purchase prior to that. And then right after someone sell, I, someone buys into that, uh, they'll instantly dump right after. So if I buy a Walrus share for $100, if I, if I say I want to buy a Walrus share for $100, but my slippage is high, a front run bot will see that it'll make a three thousand dollar buy increase the price let you buy and then sell right after so it's important to know that they can read the blockchain and while you're confirming a transaction it sees that it picks up on it and then it makes a purchase based on your slippage uh, and so to kind of show you that i'm going to jump to my computer real quick and attempt to show you so i'm going to show you a transaction here if you look we have a 2500 transaction so he he bought 15.88 Right. And he he front ran he front ran this guy here uh, who bought twelve uh twelve hundred dollars worth. And so you could see he sold right after for about an eight dollar profit. So he saw this guy's purchase and he increased the price. So if we look at what the price was before, it was $158. And then he bought in and increased the price to $161, meaning this person bought it for three dollars higher than if this front run bot was not there. And uh, then he instantly sold it. So just to kind of show you an example of a front run bot and what they're looking for is if I buy $2 of Walrus, I get 1.54 quoted to me, right? And the minimum amount received is 1.542. So I have my slippage really low at 0.1%. Now, if I increase this to something dramatic, right? Say I did like 10%, you can see that my the the amount that i like i agreed to receive the minimal amount is 1.4 at that point and that's what the slippage bots look for so if i think i can do this without actually having it if i want to buy 500 walrus it's not going to show it okay so you have to have it in the in there so um yeah so what it's looking for is people that are agreeing right because whenever you set your slippage it means you're agreeing to get less amount than what was quoted and what amount that you agree to uh, is based on your slippage tolerance percentage um, and so the reason that slippage even exists is for coins that are constantly traded or, or moving around in in um, pricing so you set your slippage so that you will you will receive a higher price uh, you, you will buy it at a higher price if you have to is pretty much what it's saying so how much so is based on your percentage uh, and I even have an actual front run bot uh, that tries to explain it a little bit better. When you send a swap transaction to a DEX like Uniswap, PancakeSwap, you must also specify a slippage tolerance. It is like saying, I want to buy one Apple for 100, but I'm okay if, when the transaction is processed, the price is up to 102, and I want the transaction to go through anyway. Uh, so that is where the bot exploits you. It says it looks for people that are agreeing to buy at higher prices, buys before they buy, and sells right after they buy. Uh, and that is what they do. It is a complete uh, automated process. A bot is doing 100% of it. It is ran by someone, uh, but it is a bot doing it constantly. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm sure they have more explanations, but I think that gives you a brief overview of kind of like what a front run bot is. Uh, and the way that you can beat them is keeping your slippage low. Uh, they may front run you, but if you minimally receive 0.1%, if that's your discrepancy, they're not going to make much money and probably lose money in gas. So just make sure your slippage tolerance is always 0.1%. Both our tokens traded have high um, liquidity 
in terms of like what you could see, even putting at 0.1%, you should always have a transaction go through. And if you don't, it's because a front run bot was trying to front run you and your transaction failed. So just try it again uh, and it'll trigger that front run bot uh, and just keep trying. Don't get impatient. Uh, just keep going for 0.1%. Um, you know, and that's for anywhere in crypto. Uh, try and keep your slippage down. Now, the only time you can't do that if there's buy and sell taxes on a coin um, or or other things that could restrict you from using 0.1. I think rebase tokens, you can't use 0.1% slippage. You have to agree to take 16% or whatever their uh, buy and sell tax is prior to that but there's really not front run bots on those because there's they have such a high tax and nobody can really trade those um so yeah that is front run bots in general i know it's a short video but i wanted to get something new out um so i hope you enjoyed it if you did uh thank you and uh i'll see you next time